Hey guys, it's Species Sims, and we are back with more Dang and Rodba Trigger Happy Havoc. And Makoto just had the weirdest little dream, and we saw that killer person who is probably going to be the person that's going to die, or something, you know. And it might actually be today, because uh, this is technically the third day after the trial. So it said the third day. So, um, so we'll find out. We'll find out what that dream and the thing and. Kyoko hovering over us, and that person stole the knife, and ooh, it's gonna look trippy. Anyway, so time for morning announcement. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I totally mouth every single one of these announcements. I'm just gonna be honest. I sit here and, like, lip it. Like, just because I'm, I know them by heart now. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Ah, I let out a deep sigh to bring myself the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy, it all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught either, it was also the dream I'd had. The hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. I came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I... I heard a voice. I didn't really understand. And then... All of a sudden, I was awake. And there was a strange person standing next to my bed, wearing a mask. And they were holding a knife! I want to say I fought them off, but... I don't actually remember. I feel like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own, and because of that... I don't remember what really happened. Still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again. The next thing I remember... Kyoko was there. But what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? Uh, look in the drawer and check out the knives there. I open the desk drawer and... Huh? It's empty. There's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside? That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in here. Wait, that means... The knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true... This all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who is that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko... What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. I should head to the dining hall. Then I can talk to everyone else about it. Don't be behind us, strange masked person! He's sneaking up behind me. Hey, Makoto. Ah, oh, Makoto! Yep, that's Makoto! Sure as the sky's blue! Hey, Hina. Um... You really had me worried, you know? What happened to you last night? Worried? I mean... Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away with your doorbell, but you never answered. Thought maybe you'd been, you know... <laughs> I mean, not that that had actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know... So anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come get me? Did something happen? <laughs> um, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. Let's go meet up with everyone else, and they can tell you about it. So, is everyone out? 
Is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? That's right. Oh yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? <laughs> I lost at rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night? Leave the area. Yeah, where the hell is the gym? It's on the second floor, isn't it? Yeah. Or no, it's on the first floor. Here, help me carry it! And then she runs away. No, it's okay. This is the gym, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Happy birthday! Woo! No, I'm just kidding. Ah, ah there he is! Huh? This oh, is worse hey, than being late for your wedding. The birth of your son and your own funeral all at once. What? Was Makoto... I mean, was Monokuma just down on the floor there? Jeez, show up now like it's no big deal. <laughs> you made us stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed. Just like Hina said, everyone was there. Besides Kyoko. And then I noticed... They formed a circle around... Something. As soon as I saw what that something was... What the... Before I could catch myself, I cried out. Spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's not even phased. Hmm. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? It looks like it's been professionally dissembled. How is that possible? Tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous. Wait, tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you start tearing apart something like that? It's date, isn't it dangerous? It isn't, what do you want us to say? Hey, come well, on. I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Byakuya found this little fellow lying around, we, then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything! What? Just before I went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try to talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance, and I found him here just like normal. However, <laughs> when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited there until night time officially began, but still Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the assembly process. <laughs> it was Master's a stroke of genius! A chance to find out what made Monokuma tick! Hmm. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But, but besides that, what I'm wondering is why did he stop moving all of a sudden? Hmm. I thought maybe he'd malfunction, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break down, so in other words, then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected. <laughs> they were probably so scared of Master they ran away into terror! Could it be? Or maybe they got sick or something! But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who is that if not, if not the Mastermind? Hmm. Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. Hmm. That's true! He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey. hey, guys! I don't think now's a good time for a light conversation. Uh, we were passed out in six, so... Maybe we're the mastermind and we just don't know it. <laughs> oh! You know? I just found something. What is it? It. It's. Huh? It's what? Hmm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? What? A b b bomb? Oh. That's super bad! We need to get rid of it! Uh, um. Roger that! Hmm. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. 
any sudden movements is sure to go off. M motion sensor for serious? Oh, I'm starting to get all shaky. Just a second. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? Uh, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Uh, uh, uh. You're so not fine. You're all ah ah ah. Oh, I probably should have mentioned the most motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> Jeez, don't scare me like that. God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Don't be mean. Hey, come on, the century's just getting started. Don't call the race already. <sighs> Whatever, just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hanging on to it's not gonna do anyone any good. Uh, um... Oh, yeah, good call. Well? Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. Kira put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at that point. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could that have been? When I thought about it... I couldn't help think back to the night before. Being attacked by that masked figure... Just a second! Hey, uh, Makoto! Huh? Hey. Don't haw us. Did you hear anything we just said? Huh? <laughs> so that's a no. What are you, some kind of brain-dead farm animal? Sorry. Hmm. We were saying, since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we've decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear now. To try and uncover the mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the headmaster's room. R really? Naturally. Since the mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? But, but if the mastermind comes back while we're in there... What? If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. Or go li live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens! You could be chicken number six! Such ignorance. This is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. But... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. Come on. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away or are you going to fight? You're right. I'll go with you. It's all clear now. Okay, then. We're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. <laughs> I'll follow you anywhere, master. To all the ends of the earth. Sakura, <laughs> if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? I can do this. I'm a man. I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. We each found determination in our own ways, and when we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. Am I on the fifth, the fourth floor now? Uh... Naturally, Master's the one to show such bravery. Just make sure you don't get in his way. Okay. Sakura's gonna be watching over us, so we're definitely gonna find something to help us bring this to an end. Hmm. We finally reached the climax. <sighs> so let's hurry up and finish it before the Mastermind catches us all. Why do I have to do it? Let's go. This is where we expose every last detail of the mastermind. Is everyone ready? Hmm. It's locked, as expected. So what are you gonna do? What? Isn't it obvious? We're gonna tear this door off its hinges. Huh? Wait, but the rules say... Hmm. We've seen what that the mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But... But, like Makoto said, if the Mastermind did show up while we were in there... So, in other words... Then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. It said if you break down a door, it didn't say anything about picking a lock. Hey... Okay, sure, but... What? We've come this far, we can't back down now. We agree this is what we have to do. So we have to do it. <laughs> so beautiful! I mean... For serious? What the heck? We don't have any choice, we're desperate! Okay. Let's do it! Let's rip this door down! Actually... Okay, but how are we going to do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? The thing in the tool shed. Oh, so uh, then... Oh yeah, the pickaxe! I see. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Hmm. Now then, Toko, what time is it? Mm -hmm. Well, 
When we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock. So it's probably 9 on the dot now. It's all clear now. Okay, go get the pickaxe and be back here by 9.01. That's straight up unreasonable. I... 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 But by myself? Naturally. Surely you have... Oh, surely you'd like to have me time once in a while, right? <laughs> well, if it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. Yeah! Unacceptable! Without Toka ran off loud as a herd of rabid elephants. Hey. I didn't know elephants could go rabid. For serious, though, are we just going to knock this door down? Hm. No, uh, no problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. He's right. They can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Uh, um... Maybe, but, but I'm super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flub No. Totally flab- Flabste- <laughs> Fab sauce? What? What? Gross. Where did that come from? Wait, Genocide Jill? Where'd you come from? You for me and so I appear. Hello, hello! It's the Wondiferous Murderif- Murderiferous! Murdiferous? Murdiferous. Wonder- Wondiferous Murdiferous Fiend here to greet you with a razor sharp smile! <laughs> Come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping imbecile. The pickaxe. Uh -huh. Seeping imbecile? Oh, master, you wooed me with your executive level barbs. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the bloody nose. Seriously, though, did you really forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest. Omega-3 fatty acids, that's what you need. Great for the old memory factory. But I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. Not possible. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Mm, yes. Oh, yes. light bulb just went on! That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe! <laughs> All right, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. One more mystery. Mm -hmm. Yep. Have you now we just need to figure eight? out the identity of Object X. So, um... Now what are you talking about? <sighs> Did you already forget what we're talking about? You're like missing out on life. You gotta be kidding. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? What did you find? <laughs> K or pus. You SOB. Did you hear me? I said corpse. A corpse? That's right! I found a corpse in the garden! You found a corpse in the garden? What, what did you say? Well then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Come on! We're going to the garden. Uh, okay. Oh my god, is it Kyoko? God damn it, it's Kyoko, isn't it? As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... Or it's the 16th student. No, it's Kyoko. Look at the... Well, somebody's got... It's got... I never remember Kyoko having painted nails. I saw someone lying on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife buried in their stomach up to the hilt. It's definitely a woman. You can see fingernails. What the... Are they really dead? For sure, but... Who is it? Well, I mean, okay, we know about the 16th student, but wouldn't you assume it was Kyoko? You, wouldn't you assume it was Kyoko if you're one of them? I've never seen her wear nail polish. Just to make things clear... Last night it was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're... I don't know why, but now they're laying dead in front of me. <laughs> I told you there's a corpse hanging out here! No Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? What? You need to begin looking around right away. However, be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. Um, okay. So let's examine the body. 
We need to find out who this actually is. But there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that. Oh my god, are we fucking retarded? I mean, I get Makoto knows that there's a 16th student. There's another woman supposedly in the school. But don't you think everyone... First of all, those are not Kyoko's boots as far as I'm aware. Um, it would look more like Celeste, to be honest with you. But don't you think that you would... You know there's a 16th student. Or everyone else. Don't you think everyone... Like, we need to figure out who it is. Gee, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six people. There's five of us here. Who's the only one missing? Oh, everyone should assume it's Kyoko. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a total mystery. But one thing I do know... They attacked me. Is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How did they wind up dead in here? Hmm. Their heart isn't beating. They're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood uh, that's there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. Uh, um... How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Huh? Huh? How can you tell? Well, well, I think I see the outline of her chest. And just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then it could be... <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Yes! Let's just tear the mask clean off. Come on. Wait, don't. But by the time he called out, it was already too late. Toko's hand shot out toward the mask. And in the next instant... There was a blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. It 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 wasn't really a body. My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out. But then... Come on. Hurry up. Put out the fire. As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hand. It was a bucket of water. <laughs> Come on, dump the water on it! Okay! The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Sploosh. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning... I guess that took care of it. Uh... What the hell, man? It exploded?! What did you say? I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. Now the body... What? what? It's burned to a crisp. That's beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to a steak. He'll never be able to eat steak again. But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we going to find out who it is? Oh my god, these people are like the dumbest. Like... Why is everyone, like, so curious? They should just assume... They should be freaking out thinking it's Kyoko, even if it's not. Hmm. Who isn't here right now? What? Huh? If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow down who it must be. Oh my god, it's like we're morons. Everyone's like, but who is it? There's six of us. Five of us are here, one of us isn't. And so, okay. I mean, again, this is what I've been saying for, like, the past five minutes. But, like, it just drives me crazy. Um, There's only one person missing. Uh, um. It's Kyoko. Kyoko? Then that dead body is Kyoko? It could be. The hair looks kind of like pinky. No, they can't be right. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't say it was Kyoko. What? But, I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. Another word. The mastermind. What? what? The, the mastermind? What the Come on, there's no way. The mastermind got charbroiled? Get serious. <laughs> I agree. Normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have reason to believe it may be true. <laughs> the mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if its master is dead, right? But... But, but that corpse is a girl, right? Doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. What the heck? He said the mastermind was some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. Uh, who 
can't be the mastermind. Is it the headmaster? Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? huh? Ukuro Ikus Ikusaba, the 16th student at Hope's Peak. What? What are you talking about? The other day, conf Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. What? I think you better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was... Mukuro Ikusaba. Mukuro. I called her Mukuro, didn't I? Mukuro? Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. The ultimate despair? Because she's like a dead corpse. Watch out for her. And she just blew up. It sounded like Kyoko thinks Mukuro, Mukuro Ikusaba is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. I see. There's another student here, and it's a female. That would match the body's characteristics. So, um... And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Could it be? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, Mukuro, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair? But if she's been hiding in the school like some teenage Bigfoot... How'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? What the heck? None of this makes any sense to just suddenly show up and then die? I think we better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Ah, uh. oh, hey, wait! What? Um... Uh, aren't we forgetting something? You know, Toko? What? Oh yeah, she got totally blown up, huh? Hm. Forget about her, I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. Uh. Uh. Oh, she survived! Oh, she survived. Uh. Huh? What just ha happened? Master? Stop talking. You declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. <laughs> oh, then I don't mind but breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale. That's enough for me to live. What the heck? This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. Oh uh, my god. Okay. I should take a close look at the body one more time. So, what? Um... Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. D don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko, after all. There's something next to the body. It's... it's a key. Is it what Kyoko took from Monokuma? No. Uh, but what did you steal? So... I stole this. A key, but looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That's right, the key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. And this key is... What? What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So even you don't know that. Hmm. Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. Huh? I see. That key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean... So, in other words... The bio lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. It's in your hands. So I'm your errand boy now. Alright. Well. Uh, I'm going to actually wrap this part up here. And when we come back in the next part, we'll... Use the key and go check out some shit. So, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.